Hey guys, it is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Got a great one from the 90s today. We learned how to do the Deftones' is My Own Summer, Shove It. So uh, this one's a lot of fun to play. It's in drop C sharp tuning. So if you don't know what that is, that is uh, the low, the sixth string is tuned down to C sharp. The A string is tuned down to G sharp. The D string is tuned down to C sharp. G string is tuned down to F sharp. B string is tuned down to A sharp. And the high E string is tuned down to D sharp. So it's basically a uh, standard tune guitar, turn, tune all the strings down a, a half step, and then take the low E string and tune it down another whole step uh, to put it into that drop tuning. And we have drop C sharp. All right, so there's basically three sections to learn in this song. Um, now, the first one that you're gonna take a look at here is uh, just kind of a single note riff along the sixth string. Looks like this. So that's going to start with the, uh, I'm going to call this the E string, even though it's not an E string anymore. I'm just going to call it like it's a standard tune guitar, so you don't have to like rethink string names and stuff. So on the low E, we have 0, 11, 12. So this whole riff's on the low E string. So 0, 11, 12, then the open E again. And then you're going to pick that 11th fret and slide it down to 8. So this. Opening again, then back to the eight, then back to the open. So it keeps kind of rotating back to the open string after each little. So it keeps going back to that open. So after you've done that, uh, we, we have a, a slide from eight to seven. And then open again. And then you're gonna play eight again. And then you can play five a few times. So it's like this. So you hit that five like twice at the end. So that's the intro to the song and the verse. And then from there we get to, I guess, uh, this is when he's, you know, screaming, shove it. Um, I know this is the chorus riff. Uh, I, I, I think it's, I'm just going to consider it a pre-chorus because this next section, I think that's like more of a chorus. Uh, so anyway, this uh, pre-chorus looks like this. So that's gonna, now we're playing full power chords and since it's tuned in the drop tuning, the bottom three strings make up a power chord, yay. So the, so the bottom three strings open at first and then we're gonna play the seventh fret across those three strings and then the eight. So, so, so we have this zero, seven, eight, zero, and then play A5. Remember, always doing the power chord each time, so across three strings. Now, once you get to the five, it kind of rotates against the five and the open power chord a couple times. So this. Then you're gonna go back to the five, slide it up to seven.
then back to the open. Remember, keep rotating back to the open. And then we're gonna do eight. Hit that eight real quick. And then jump back to four. Double times, here it is. Then it gets to the chorus. This is really the last uh, new thing, except there's kind of an extended version of this chorus at the end, but the chorus really looks like this, really cool. So this chord at the beginning is that same power chord across the eighth fret of the bottom three strings. So eighth fret across the fourth, fifth, and sixth string. And you're gonna add the ninth fret, that really dissonant note on top. It's gonna be on the ninth fret of the G string. So you play those four strings. From there we go to this. So this is gonna hit the, the fifth fret power chord on, on those three bottom strings still, three times. And then go to the eighth fret power chord there. Just hit it once. And then to the open, that's where it is. And then we kinda do the same thing, except we're gonna hit the eight power chord twice. And then the open power chord twice at the end too. That's where it is. All together. Hit it once. Then twice. And then twice when that open hit two. So one more time. And then from there we go back to the uh, that chord again. Gonna strum that a bit. Just kind of let those strings ring out. Now um, it then goes to the verse again, but the verse has the second verse doesn't have any guitar, so you're not gonna have that riff. It just has the bass going, um, and then the guitar comes back in for the same pre-chorus. And then the chorus that happens, um, the last chorus in the song, is um, kind of extended. It basically extends that little... Like this. So it's basically the same chorus again, it's just you just kind of put that, that tail on. Just keep repeating that. And of course they let that ring and then they come in with that pre-chorus riff one more time. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a pretty simple song. It's really kind of three main riffs to play, and they're not very hard to play, but the song really does rock, so it's a lot of fun to play. Um, so hopefully you'll be able to get it underneath your fingers pretty quickly. 
All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com.